snowbound for a skiing holiday in the Chilean Andes are Josette and Pamela. The girls are up early to talk about the trip and thank Pennies for enabling them to ski in, in Ski Happy. Aconcagua, highest mountain in the Americas, is the pride of the Cordillera of the Andes. It's a skier's landmark because nearby is the valley in which Portillo lies on a glacial lake. Overlooking this lake of the Incas is the world-famous ski resort, Portillo. It's the site of the 1966 Alpine World Ski Championship. Today, the Chilean National Ski Championship attracts competitors from all over the world. Slalom is the most severe test of technique and agility in alpine skiing. Nordic skiing offers the same tests in jumping and adds the endurance of cross-country skiing. El Interamericano, landing in Santiago, capital of Chile. Although it's summer in the United States, it's winter in Santiago. But the girls' travel coats make the change from summer to winter easy. Oh, wait till they see the peanuts. But apparently, skiing comes first. Portillo lures expert and novice alike with powder snow in July and August and spring snow in September and October. Bring your own boots, skis and poles, or rent them. But either way, make sure you are fitted by an expert. One begins with a trip on the narrow gauge cog railroad from Los Andes near Santiago. It follows a valley carved out by the Rio Blanco. Through every tunnel, a snow-capped mountain beckons. Arrival in Portillo. And the same coats are perfect for ski land. At last, Portillo. Rendezvous for international skiers. It stands among towering mountains near Lake of the Incas. Ski school starts at the front door. Mmm, skiing deluxe. For their first lesson, how to put on skis. The girls wear versatile parkas and streamlined stretch pants. Boots must fit comfortably. And, oops, the power-assisted start is sometimes useful. And if all else fails, that shaggy white parka should impress the instructor. Walking on skis is easy. If you don't mind staying in the same place. Pamela's first schuss and her first fall. A 
other skiers are poles apart. Learning to ski backwards? Looking every bit the expert she is, Sheila combines a belted stretch parka with snow white pants. She has the tapered look of a good skier. She takes the main ski lift near the hotel, climbing over 1,000 feet to the plateau in minutes. Franz, an instructor in the Austrian ski school, decides to join her. Followed by Walter, another ski instructor. On the way down, Crystal Haas, known as the locomotive on skis, Austria's Olympic champion in the women's downhill. Sheila and Franz stop at the ski jump halfway down the mountain. Portillo warms up at noon and Franz prepares to jump. Good skiers like color in their clothes. Men almost always choose blue. Takeoff, crucial moment in every jump. Austrian influence shows both in Walter skiing and in his corduroy knickers. The multicolored sweater goes anywhere, and even the most conservative skier sports a gay hat. To the expert, jumping of any kind is always exhilarating. Time for a midday break. Aching muscles relax in a heated outdoor pool. In the Andes, swimsuits attract special attention. Las Tres Hermanas, the three sisters, provide a perfect mountain backdrop for late afternoon. After skiing, Pamela relaxes in a pastel embroidered sweater, while Josette lounges in angel mohair. The Inca spirit seems to brood over the scene. You can almost see a figure gliding over the lake. For the next lesson, the instructor demonstrates a kick turn for a complete change of direction. One ski is kicked up and swung around to face the tail of the other ski. Then in one quick motion, the remaining ski and pole are brought around to join it. At least that's what the instructor says. Pamela tries out the new stork position. And gives us a chance to see the embroidery. Walking uphill requires horizontal skis and small steps for easy transfer of weight. Hmm, flowers blooming everywhere. Pamela shoves off well. But she's prone to forget to lean forward. Basic rule of skiing. Meanwhile, our friend is just prone.
skis for sale. The experts lift on the slope called Woka Jack. They take off up the 60 degree slope almost as fast as they can ski down again. The Austrian ski school enjoys a snowman's holiday. Every snow bunny's dream. Graceful Vedel, ultimate aim of all skiers. End of another day of sun, snow, and skiing. And from the chalet, an invitation to a party. The girls show up in extra long, softly gathered wool skirts. They suit the Austrian mood perfectly.